Batwoman Season 2 Episode 5 titled Gore on Campus. Now this episode is a really good episode and you know what it feels like? It feels that this show has finally found its footing. That has finally found its identity again. That, like they finally finished with the whole you know, here's Ryan, here's this new Batwoman, we have to, we kind of have to reintroduce this, we're basically we doing the pilot again, um, and we establishing everything, and they kind of quickly figure out, like, what's working, what isn't, and so far, like, I, you know, I thought last episode was okay, but this episode is a like improvement, but both of them feel like a really well done like find its footing, find its truly its identity, and its identity <laughs> in this episode is a flipping heist movie. It's a heist movie. It essentially, is it's them trying to find this painting by Jack Napier. If you don't know who Jack Napier is, it's the Joker. Now, if all you guys say, wait, I thought the Joker has like no name. I thought like real name unknown or that. Well, that's a ref well Jack Napier is a reference to um, Batman A Nine, the first Tim Bur Tim Burton Batman film. And he, uh, they, they decided like, hey, we want to give Joker a real name. So they gave him a real name and it's Jack Napier. And of course with the show, they want to give Joker a real name as well. So they decided to choose, do a reference to A9, you know, any time they mention it. And it's, um, but in this painting, this bloody painting, because that's all it is, essentially just... Joker kills someone, uses paint, uses blood, and he's like, Supuesto! The painting is done! And that's what, um, but in this bloody painting is a map that is one step further to finding Kate, which I'm always curious about, like, so how, how the fuck are they going to do this? Like, how are they going to deal with Kate? Is it going to be Boo Woes? Is it not? Like, is it going? Is it going to be a different actor? How are they going to do it? Parallel universes? I don't know. Multiverse? I, I'm clueless. Is Sapphire lying just so she can get what she wants? Maybe. Now, with the high storyline, there's two factors that comes into it. One is the idea of why and not liking the crows you know this is all saying of like all crows are bastards and there's a weather forward to police brutality and black lives matter and and those type of things and it, it, it isn't heavy handed it's essentially just like hey these are the reasons why and we they move on and you understand but you understand why is um uh, uh Disliked towards the crow, distrust of the crows because it's like, yeah, they say they this, but they turn out that that kind of thing, and it, it's a really well dynamic towards it. Now, one of the things I didn't care for is like that we have this thing called like a what, what, what are they calling him like, like spider monkey or monkey spider or whatever the thing is, and um, the crow spider, whatever. And when they show the identity, you're like, that makes no sense. That makes zero sense. And oh so, oh so, this character's there, so Ryan, as Batwoman, has something to punch. That's all, that's, that's the only cause of this show, of this episode, for that character. It's a superhero show, and we need some action. So you're going to be the uh, punching thing, which will dive into the whole kryptonite thing, which at this far, at this point, all we know is it's hurting her. You know, the kryptonite bullet, it's just hurting her, which I will say is, okay, uh, is it going to kill her? Is she not? By the end of the season, is, it going, is she going to become, I don't know, Oracle? <laughs> is she just going to be painted green for the entire think what is going to be the case here um uh, so i have no theories on that now with th but the thing i also really enjoy of this this is a pretty good episode is the stuff with alice because it kind of like the moment they show alice uh, as beth 
meeting Ocean for the first time, or at least like an eye contact, you're like, clearly these guys are the thing. They're clear there's a thing going on. So, you know, but the moment we saw her, see her first scene of this episode, it does make Alice less psychotic and more human and, have a sen- and give her a sense of, hey, she is a human being like everyone else and blah 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 and you know, you, you have a little bit more connection towards her except the whole, I need to find my sister and I'm just gonna kind of have, slightly have my, have my knife on my face while talking about it, like I'm, you know, that whole thing. So, there's that, it's, it's a good episode, it's not much to complain about or, but keep on praising and hopefully for the next, I don't know how many episodes, let's just assume 13 episodes, um, the next number of episodes we, uh, have this Tyrion pace and, and it does feel like we are wrapping up, we are hitting a, a, a occlusion, um, and it's like, hey, we realize we don't have this amount, amount of episodes as normal, so we're going to do it, we're going to make this story quicker, and it's kind of working, in a way.